Yeah, I think metaphysics is still possible, and if metaphysics would be impossible, to some extent philosophy as a whole would be pointless. Because philosophy tries to develop universal arguments, universal insights about the structure of nature, the structure of reality, tries to, in a way, examine our common and universal conceptual grammar, if you like, the way how we talk about the world, how we understand our place in the world. So if that is metaphysics, I mean, it cannot be separated from philosophy. But the question is how you do about, how are you going to do, how are you going to develop a kind of metaphysics? What does it mean to develop, for example, a universal account of nature, an essence of humanity, and how you justify those accounts? It's a question of, a methodological question, how you ground metaphysics. If you think you can describe certain entities and their properties in a kind of quasi-empiricist way, if you think those entities like God, like nature, like freedom, whatsoever, are just given to you without reflecting on the practices of giving and asking for reasons, of forming beliefs, um, that could lead to some kind of a naive epistemological strand. I mean, after Kant, after the critical turn in philosophy, we always try to examine first the practices of forming beliefs, of using categories, before we actually examine the objects, the metaphysical objects we talk about. So what I call metaphysical realism in a naive sense would be a um, kind of metaphysical position which is positivistic in a certain account, takes certain theoretical and metaphysical objects and their properties for granted without examining the belief formation processes which actually bring about the thoughts about those metaphysical objects.